Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Time News. I'm Jeff Borkin. This is going to be a reaction to the first period of our Reading Royals as we preview the rest of the game as well, since I wasn't able to do a game preview. If you enjoy the content, special thanks to the subscribers already. Please continue to subscribe to keep the channel going and growing, and also enter steel flyers on Manscaped if you want 20% off and free shipping. But the PK against the Growers, <clears throat> the PK in general was about 76% this year against the Growers, was about 83%. That went up since they got two penalty kills, one early in the game and one late. Later in the first period, of course, against the um, the Growlers there, the Newfoundland Growlers being able to get the penalty killed there and keep getting it done as they killed off the penalty kill. And then at 10-23, the Royals got a power play goal of their own, which was nice to see that the power play sparked this team continued to get them going offensively because early in the game, the Growlers had no shots until about five minutes in, so it was all Royals in general, five-on-five five play. But it was great to see the power play really spark the offense. Get Cormier, who's been very good finding a way to get his shots through for the most part, was able to get it on net. Jackson Crushy's able to get the rebound and pot it in. And then also Lowe and Petrino, um, Pietro Nero, excuse me, uh, fought at the 13:25 mark. Um, obviously Lowe was probably frustrated also that Pietro Nero. Destroyed Pritchard on a legal hit, but that's your star player. Normally, you're going to stand up for him at a certain point anyway. Lowe does that, but then he also got hit into the net, so I'm sure he wasn't too happy with a Petra Nero there to begin with. Then he got hit into Petrozelli by Petra Nero, so that started a fight. Braden Lowe, you know, is always going to take on anyone. And then Petra Nero was able to get a little bit of a right above him, it looked like, there, and kind of bring him down. That was a pretty good scrap, though. And then whatever chances there were... Um, for the Newfoundland Growlers, like particularly the couple rushes they had at the end there where Pelton Bice and others got chances, Pat Nagel was there for all of them, continuing to prove himself as one of the best all-time ECHL netminders, where after one, the Reading Royals led in shots by two, nine to seven, so Newfoundland made up a little bit, but that's also because Newfoundland was back on the power play, got a couple shots, and Nagel stepped up early on, they got a couple shots in the power play, I think that total like three to four shots. So then they got a few more and even strength, but I thought the Royals had their best period by far in a long time at keeping a team to the outside and letting Nagel just see the shot, make the save, and then move on, move back down the ice and get their own play going down the ice. This was the best the Reading Royals have looked in a while at doing that since it's been obviously a long time for our Royals to be able to have consistent play since the last game they won was against the Norfolk Admirals at home on the 21st, and then 5-1, to 9-1, to 3-2, to two, which was a game they could have won against TR, who's now in second place. So if you can win this game, it's going to help a lot with the standings because TR now moved ahead of the Reading Royals in second place. But this has been a breakdown of the first period, a very quick breakdown of the first period where the Royals, again, do great on the PK against the Growers after they allowed their first goal against the Growers last game, uh, which was a power play goal by Bobby Lynch. They respond again and go two for two, I believe it was, on the penalty kill in the first period and continue to have success against them and pot one on their power play themselves. They have more chances on the power play there. You might have liked, if you want to really nitpick, like the Royals to get a little bit more on the power play when it came to the other chances they had in the first, but I'm not going to nitpick that much because I thought we played a great overall first period. This was the best first period they played in a while. It's a great first period to build on. If they can continue to play this throughout the game, they should be able to beat the top flight, top plays Growers team. So that's all they have to continue to do for the rest of this game. This has been a reaction to the first period of the Reading Royals and Newfoundland Growers. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day, and stay safe out there.